We're continuing our study of the value of the Word of God from Psalm 19, and we are in verse number 9. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous all together. Here the Word of God is spoken of as the fear of the Lord and the judgment of the Lord. So what's the relationship between the word of God and the fear of God? Word or the phrase fear of God is used in this passage to talk about the reverence we hold for God and how we see him respectfully. So when we read the Bible, we see God many times portrayed in, in very awesome ways. And sometimes he does things and says things that makes us stop in our tracks for fear. Uh, when we see the Red Sea open, we are amazed at the power of God. When we see him on Mount Sinai and, and see all the spectacle of thunder and lightning, we are amazed at this awesomeness of God's power. So God gives us his word, but his word must not be casual to us. His word must be received with reverence, with respect. It is called the fear of the Lord. And the fear of the Lord, the passage says, is clean. In other words, we don't fear God because he's going to hurt us. We fear God because we have a clean respect for him. We have a reverence for him because of his awesomeness and because of his power. And this fear of God must endure forever. In other words, you don't have this fear of God for today and then you lose it tomorrow. Because sometimes we come into God's presence and there's no sense of reverence and awesomeness that we feel at his presence. The fear of the Lord, the, the word of God, must give us reverence for God. And one of the reasons why people fear God is because of his judgment. So the passage says the judgments of the Lord are true. God is a judge. He's a good God. He's kind, but he is also a judge. That means he's able to separate things which don't belong to each other from each other. He doesn't mix up things. He doesn't mix up right with wrong. He doesn't mix up light with darkness. God separates things that don't belong together. And so when we talk about God's judgment, it is his ability to separate things and keep things that don't belong together apart. And anytime we read the word of God, we come to that realization that God is trying to keep some things out of our lives. So there are times you read the Bible and you just feel the Bible is judging you. Have you felt that before? It's almost as if somebody's pointing a finger at you and say, take this out of your life or bring this into your life. Don't let these stay in your life. It is called the judgment of the Lord. The good news is that the judgment of the Lord are true and righteous. His judgments are not capricious. He makes judgments based on truth and based on the right morality because he is a just and holy God. And so it's important for God's children to cultivate holy reverence for God. Yes, he gives us access into his presence because of what Christ has done for us, but he's not our buddy. And yes, he's our father and he lives in our heart. But remember, our father is also the king of the universe and he's the owner of our lives. We are not on the same level with him. He is far above us. And when we come into God's presence, as much as we enjoy his presence, we must also remember he's an awesome God. He's far powerful and we must give him all the reverence that his presence deserves. So anytime you read the Bible, uh, remember that you are confronting the fear of the Lord and the judgment of the Lord. Let's share a word of prayer together. Say with me, Heavenly Father, you are the awesome and fearful one. I bow to you as the owner of my life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'll be with you again. I'm Pastor Menza Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.